Hi and welcome back to this course on Memories in VLSI. In the last video, we have seen Erasable Programmable ROM. In this video, we will try to understand the advanced version of EEPROM, which is nothing but EEPROM, which refers to Electrically Erasable Programmable ROM. EEPROM was developed in 1980s. This memory can be both programmed and erased electronically using higher than normal voltage, which is a very significant improvement compared to EEPROM, where erasing is done under the UV light, which will take 5 to 30 minutes. But here, it can be done inside the system itself. So once you install this memory into the system, you don't need to remove it or something or keep it away from the board just for the erasing purpose. So these type of memories which can be programmed and erased in the same system is called as in-system programmable. Its individual words can also be erased and programmed unlike EEPROM where the erasing has to happen uh, for the entire chip where you have to lose all the bits and write it once again back. Reading will be very quick but writing will have to happen uh, or writing or programming we can say because this is ROM it happens by erasing and then after that it writes into the memory this will take a few seconds but compared to EEPROM it is a very significant improvement because that there we have 5 to 30 minutes as the time for writing writability and speed is much better than other ROMs and storage permanence is also around 10 years in fact, it uses the same memory cell, which is the transistor, as that of uh, EEPROM, where it was using two polylayers. It's not a traditional uh, transistor, but it uses two polylayers, which is similar here. But the erasing mechanism will be carried out in much different way using high voltages itself. And endurance of EEPROM is uh, very similar to EEPROM, which allows you to write uh, and erase for tens of thousands of times. In-system programmable uh, makes it easy uh, and in almost all the EE prompts today we will have an inbuilt memory controller. So this inbuilt memory controller hides the internal memory access details from the memory user which means to say that how data is being written into the memory and read from the memory by the processor is uh, hidden from the user because it will have some extra conditions uh, to be set which will be performed by this memory controller. Reading takes tens of nanoseconds whereas writing may take tens of microseconds because it has to erase and then uh, write into the memory. Some of the uses of uh, EEPROM will be EEPROMs are mostly used in microcontrollers as uh, program storage um, memory also for data storage as well. There are other use cases, but since uh, EE prompts are erased each bit individually, it's not an efficient way to do so and not even economic way to do so for larger memory systems. Hence, it is not a, as famous as flash memory, where flash, flash memory is absolutely same as EE prompt, but there are there is very slight difference when it comes to erasing and uh, again programming back. Right? We will discuss those uh, details of flash memory in the upcoming videos. That's all about EEPROM. I hope you got some idea about what EEPROM is, how it is erased, how it is programmed, why it is in-system programmable, and what are its uses. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and bye-bye.